Hi, this is Ryan with Blair Technology Group, and in today's video we're going to take a look at reloading a fresh copy of Windows 10 onto your machine using uh, restore media created on a USB flash drive. If you have not already created your flash drive, if you look below this video, there will be a link to another video uh, that will show you step by step how to go through this process. The first thing we'll need to do is either restart or power down the machine. Uh, once this is restarted, it's going to come up to the Dell splash screen since this is a Dell machine. Uh, on a Dell or a Novo, you'll want to tap F12 as soon as you see this screen here. Uh, if it's an HP, you'll want to tap F9. Uh, this will bring you to a boot device menu. Uh, from here, we'll want to select the USB drive. Uh, you can't use your mouse here, so you'll need to use up and out, down arrow keys. So we'll hit the down arrow key a couple times to highlight highlight USB device. Uh, once this is highlighted, uh, you can just go ahead and hit the enter key. Once you've hit the enter key, uh, you should see this window here. Uh, this will start the process. It'll take a minute or so uh, to load the necessary files. Once the files have loaded, this will bring you to the language settings. Everything should be set correctly by default. Uh, at this point, all you'll need to do is go down here and click Next. At the following screen, uh, we'll just want to click Install Now. After the short loading screen, it'll bring you to this Activate Windows screen. Um, it'll ask you for your product key. However, your machine's already been upgraded from 7 or 8.1, uh, so you will not need to enter your product key at this point. Uh, you can just click on I don't have a product key, and this will take you to the next step. This following screen will give you the option to install Pro or Home. Uh, however, you will need to install the proper version that matches the version uh, that on your product key sticker. Uh, the sticker will be located either if it's a laptop, it'll be on the bottom of the laptop. Just flip the laptop over. Um, if it's a desktop, it should be stuck to the top of the desktop, assuming you have it standing upright. Uh, on the sticker, it's either going to say Windows 7, Windows 8.1, uh, either Home or Pro. Uh, if it does not have the word Pro or Professional on that sticker, uh, select the Home version. If you do not pick the correct version, uh, unfortunately, it will not properly validate. But as long as you have the right version, you should be okay. Uh, once you've located your version, uh, go ahead and select the proper version here and left click on the next button. This will bring you to the license terms. You have no way around these, so just click the I accept the license terms box there and then left click on the next button. This following screen will allow you to choose which type of installation you would like. Um, to get a clean install of Windows 10, you'll want to choose this bottom option, uh, Custom Install Windows Only Advanced. Uh, this will allow us to delete everything off the machine and, and give it a nice fresh install. This following screen will show your current partitions or hard drives you have installed on the machine. Um, you'll want to go ahead and delete all of these partitions. So you can highlight, as you can see, the top one's already highlighted in blue. Uh, so you can just go ahead and click delete. Uh, it'll bring up a warning message uh, asking you to confirm, make sure you actually want to delete this partition. And you can just click OK. You want to continue to delete these partitions one by one until you're left with just drive zero unallocated space, as you'll see here in the video. Once you're left with just drive zero unallocated space in this box, at this point you can just go ahead and left click on the next button. At this point it'll start loading files in preparation for the actual Windows install. 
took roughly about seven eight minutes on my machine uh, might take longer on yours depending on on your actual computer uh, maybe up to 15 uh, I'm going to skip most of this process to save some time on the video so I'll fade in and fade out and we'll come back a little closer to the end of this step once the setup's completed, it's going to restart your machine. If you don't want to wait for this counter, you can't just go ahead and click on Restart Now. Uh, this will restart your machine and bring you back to a loading screen, as you'll see here shortly. Uh, this loading screen here will last probably about six or seven minutes, roughly. Um, I'm going to cut this out to save some time on the video, so we'll fade in, fade out, and uh, bring it uh, back in at the next step. If you have a laptop or a desktop with a USB Wi-Fi adapter plugged in, uh, you should see this next screen uh, asking you to hook up to your Wi-Fi network. Uh, ours is named Dead Zone. Uh, yours will be named something else, hopefully. Uh, once you locate your wireless network, uh, just go ahead and left-click on it. Once you've selected the proper network you want to connect to, uh, you can go ahead at this point and enter your security key. Uh, this will be the password uh, that you need to access your Wi-Fi. Once you've properly entered your Wi-Fi password, you can just hit the enter key or you can click the box mark next. On this following screen, you'll just want to left click on Use Express Settings. After you click Use Express Settings, and if you're connected to your Wi Fi, uh, you're going to see something similar to this. It's going to go through a couple screens here, and then it's going to start downloading some critical updates. Uh, this process took roughly about four or five minutes. I'll go ahead and fade in and out a few times to show you the, the screens that you'll see during this process. After several minutes of loading time, you'll come to this screen and it'll ask you to log in with a Microsoft account. So if you have a Hotmail or uh, at Live email account or Outlook.com email account, you can log in here with just your normal email address and password. Uh, you certainly do not need to. Uh, you can create one uh, if you need. As you can see below there, it says no account, create one. Uh, however, if you don't have a Microsoft account and you have no interest in getting one, uh, you can just uh, left click on skip this step. At this point it's going to ask you to create a username and a password for your machine. Uh, if you do create a password every time you start the machine or it goes to sleep you will have to type in that password to get Windows to resume. Um, as for the username you can type anything you'd like in here. Random numbers, your name, doesn't really matter. Uh, as you can see I'm having some issues with my keyboard here and it keeps randomly putting in a lot of T's so I did get this fixed and um, once you've entered your username and or your password you can just go ahead and hit the enter key uh, or you can left click on the next box in the bottom right hand corner. After about three or four more minutes of finalization, you'll go through a couple windows here. You will be in Windows 10. I'm going to fade the video in and out just to show you the screens that you'll see, and uh, we'll resume here shortly.
At this point the Windows installation is complete, but there are a couple things we'll want to check here. As you can see the screen resolution is, is very low. Uh, it is missing a, a video driver as well as an audio driver, probably some other drivers as well. So we'll have to run Windows Update. Uh, but the first thing we'll want to make sure is to double check that uh, Windows 10 has actually validated. And uh, to do this we'll want to go ahead and click on the Start menu. And then once you're in the start menu, uh, left click on the settings option right here. Then we'll want to left click on system in the top left hand corner, then click on about in the bottom left hand corner. This will give you some basic information about your computer. Um, to see if it's actually validated, we'll need to scroll down all the way to the bottom of this window. Uh, once you've scrolled down to the bottom, you'll want to go ahead and click on System Info. As you can see at the bottom of this Windows 10 screen, it does say Windows is activated and this was done automatically. As long as you have an internet connection, uh, this should validate automatically if you have already upgraded this machine or you had Windows 10 installed on it originally. Um, once you've verified that it is activated, you can go ahead and close this window. Now we'll need to go run Windows Update. We'll go down to the Start menu, left click on the Start menu. Uh, we'll go back to Settings, uh, left click on Settings. Once in Settings, uh, left click on Update and Security in the bottom left hand corner. On the following screen we'll want to click on this gray box uh, marked Check for Updates. Now Windows will start searching for and downloading uh, some updates as well as some missing drivers. This took roughly about 10-12 minutes on my machine. It might take a little longer on yours depending on your download speed. Uh, I'm going to skip over this and fade in and out uh, just to save some time here. Once we've reached this screen here and the updates have completed, we can just go ahead and restart the machine. Once you've clicked update and restart, uh, it'll start installing the updates and restarting your machine. This will take roughly about 10 minutes. I'm going to cut this out to save some time and we'll come back uh, when it's a little closer to reloading Windows. Once back into Windows, you'll notice that the screen resolution is, is set much higher now and, and the screen is much clearer. Uh, this is because the uh, video driver is uh, finalizing its installation. The screen might flicker off and on a few times uh, as the video driver uh, fully installs. Uh, you should have sound here very shortly as well. Um, this should conclude the video. If you run into any issues, certainly feel free to give us a call Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, number is 855-252-4784. Again, that's 855-252-4784. You can also email us directly at support, S-U-P-P-O-R-T, at Blair, which is B as in boy, L-A-I-R, T as in Tom, G is in George.com. Again, that's support at BlairTG.com. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.